I have tape and all of my makeup. Can you guess what's about to happen? Full disclosure, I am not the best in the world at makeup. I'm probably not the best in the world at pretty much anything. I guess the number of people in the world who are the best in the world at something is probably about the same as the number of distinguishable activities. Okay. Alright, so I'm starting off with my really cheap as hell foundation and a Eco Tools foundation brush and I'm just gonna blend away the brush marks with my off-brand beauty blender. Uh, this I wanted to do this because I thought it looked cool on other people. I didn't think it would have as much of a like drastic effect on my face as it did with other people's because I don't really wear that much makeup, but it's kind of more drastic than I thought. Oh, here I'm cream contouring. I don't usually do this every day, but I thought I was like consciously putting on more makeup to try and make the effect more obvious. And then just hit your face, just abuse your face with a beauty blender until it's pretty. All right, time to set, I think. Uh, I'm setting the highlight sections with the translucent powder and then I'm gonna get out another sleek palette. Uh, the cream the cream contour palette was sleek and then this is a powder contour palette from sleek and I'm gonna use the bronzer from that to set the contour sections. I'm talking like I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making it up as I go along like the rest of the girls who do this. That was me highlighting and I'm about to blush. I just took the tape off because it was getting annoying and I did everything that required the tape. Uh, that's me remembering that I forgot to blush. And I'm gonna get out my, this is my spoolie brush with uh, like eyebrow gel on it to shape my brows. And then I'm drawing in my brows with another sleek uh, brow kit, which has this little pigmented wax that I use to fill in some of the brow and then powder that I use to set the brow. Um, and then I'm gonna get out some other stuff and pretend how to use it. Yes, my naked palette, pretending that I know what I'm doing with my naked palette. I have quite a pale face, so it's quite hard to find makeup for me, and Sleek is very good at making makeup for pale skin, and they're also cruelty free, which is always good. I'll stop for a second because I ran out of space. That's a common thing, apparently eyeliner. I just bought this new brush and it's just like a silicon tip and I kind of love it. Okay, all I need to do in this kind of post switch because I ran out of space on my phone to record section is my eyeliner and my mascara. I kind of loved doing a half face with this because it meant that I didn't have to match my eyeliner on my other eye so I could just kind of leave it as it was and not worry about them matching. Um, I wear brown gel eyeliner from Maybelline and a Rimmel brown black mascara. Which one? Whole lipstick? Whole lipstick. Okay, this is just me applying my liquid lipstick. It's again sleek liquid lipstick. I love this shade. It's nice as a like, I call it a whole lipstick. It's like a going out lipstick. Right, so this is what you can actually see. Um, the lighting isn't the best, but you can actually kind of see, especially on my nose, where the makeup line is. I wasn't the best at putting the tape on, so it's not the most even. And one of my eyes is way more open, it's really cool. I don't usually get like well into makeup trends and stuff in like, makeup tutorials, because I don't really know how to do makeup, but I did think this looked really cool. Alright, creepy half face complete. <laughs> In a bit, lads and lasses.